Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot Daily Tarot Reading for Tuesday, 27th of March 2018. I'm using the Gummy Bear Tarot again because they're just so much fun. And actually they're quite good cards in terms of tarot cards. I'm surprised. I feel this could, for me, start the beginning of a novelty tarot phase. People, you know it was only a matter of time. Now... Itchy nose, it's spring. Let's have a look, this is for all ooh, zodiac signs. <laughs> Just make me laugh so much, they're so gorgeous. Oh, we talked yesterday about the relationship dialectic, which kind of sounds like a Big Bang episode, doesn't it? Okay, this card came up yesterday. The gummy bear leaning on his hoe. Do you remember that? Contemplating something, where we're at with something, an offer that's been made, something on the table. We're not sure which direction do we move in. Can we do it together? Do we need to do it apart? Okay, kind of gathers pace a bit more today because some major arcana are on the scene. Three to be precise. Also, Seven of Pentacles has gone into the reverse. So if you think about yesterday, we were being grown-up gummy bears, weren't we? We were acknowledging how far we've come so far. How far we've come so far. How far we've come. And we were giving it kind of due care and attention and thinking, it's taken this much time, we've built this together, whether it's you and an employer, you and a lover, you and you and whatever. When it goes into the reverse, sometimes we have a wobble with it or we have a reasonable assessment of it and this is the assessment card and we think to ourselves, I'm not so sure about this. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, gummy bear style. That's pretty damn cool, isn't it? I just love that. <laughs> I like it because they don't overdo the gummy bear part. They're predominantly tarot in the proper, they've got the proper iconography. Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. For me, this is a really powerful card in whatever kind of reading it comes up. It's in the upright and it is next to justice. Major arcana justice. When the, and for me this happens a lot. So if you do your own tarot readings, you know, does this happen for you? There are certain pairings, aren't there? For me, ten of wands, ten of swords comes up together a lot. And they go together very well. Wheel of fortune and justice they come up together a lot. Justice for me when it's with the Wheel of Fortune in this kind of a way is about karma. It can of course, it being justice, it's the Libra card, it can represent the legal system and there may be an aspect of that involved for some of you. I get a bit of a legal whiff, you know, <laughs> smells a bit like a legal system. Scales of justice are there. There is a balancing. There is a weighing up. That is a weighing up too. There is also a certain amount of impatience. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. There he is in the upright. <laughs> in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles is my spreadsheet knight. He is the guy that bores you to death in the pub, giving you his Google map about how he's reached his destination, okay? He is a walking sat-nav, he is a spreadsheet, he is really boring but really reliable and his quality is consistency and knowing that he just needs to wait for the right time, you know, the tortoise and the hare, that kind of thing. We're getting a bit impatient, we're getting a bit antsy, there may be a deadline linked to this. 
if there is a deadline linked to it, know that it will be busted by Mercury Retrograde anyway. You can fairly rely on that. It's not as urgent as you think. And it's a bit more important. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's a bit more at stake. There's a bit of karmic stuff thrown in. We don't always have 100% control over that either. At the bottom of the reading, this is just the best card ever. Oh my god. The death card. The gummy bear death card though. Look at that. Fantastic. Lego tarot has to be the next thing, doesn't it? Now this is in the reverse. As we know, this is the Scorpio card. When death is in the reverse, there is some kind of resistance to that. I feel, and also with this sense of impatience and the need to get a decision made, if we can check that, it would be much to our advantage. That might not be right. Treat it more like that. You know, it's the benefit of the doubt. I feel like we need to give this situation the benefit of the doubt. I feel like it's a Mercury retrograde inflamed situation and I don't think... Everything is out there yet. We're having a heart of the fairy, ooh, fairy oracle card. And we get the oh no card. <laughs> that is a mercury card. What you can never rule out when it's a retrograde time is just the bonkers stuff that happens. But... Some of the Mercury Bonkers stuff is really, really useful, especially when we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Karma card. I feel like we need to give it the benefit of the doubt for now. We can't come to any proper conclusions. If we do, you, it will be undone. The Oracle card we get, I love this one. Happy, happy with balloons and the key, okay? The key to happiness with this particular situation is not to stick to a deadline. Don't be sucked into it. We all know that time is relative, etc. Dates are relative to me too. And why not? Why not, people? Why not? Oh, why do I feel awkward about you? Okay. Ooh, we get the support card. Again, ask people, trusted friends, Archangel Mike, if that's the one you want to do. Um, sometimes when I don't want to wish on to my friends about things, I do chuck it up to Mike because it just feels like a cleaner process for some reason. I don't know, but you may have your own trusted guides, support, friends on earth, doesn't matter. Run it by people. And also we get the music card. Music card means some of these messages, some of this situation might have a connection with music. You might have a connection with music. The relationship you have with someone may be through music. Or if you hear songs, if you hear pertinent songs on the radio, Look up the lyrics. It's they could be they could be my vocabulary is horrendous at the moment. They could be significant. That's all I'm trying to say. They could be significant. Okay, so cool your jets. It's a karmic time. There's some kind of rebalancing going on. Don't be impatient like gummy night here, Mr. Spreadsheet Gummy Night. And that's kind of on its side. Give things the benefit of the doubt, okay? See you tomorrow. Namaste.